Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. All right. So we've watched a lot of car chases from Most Dangerous. Now we're watching Most Dangerous Motorcyclists. We're switching it up today. So let's look at that. A biker in the Czech Republic who tried out running the national police and a suspect in Arkansas who led state troopers on a high Well, that's not going to go too well now, is this? To a frustrated officer in <laughs> that face. Teenager off his bike and a daredevil north of Little Rock who survived several close calls. Here are more what? of the craziest motorcycle police chases caught on dash cam. Number seven. Ninth of 2024. June 9th. Now ah, we're back in Arkansas. Spotted a suspicious individual sitting on a motorcycle near a local gas station. He drives forward and performs a U-turn at a different station. Why? Point, the suspect hits the throttle and takes off down a side street. He then led state troopers on a high-speed bike race through multiple residential areas. According to their radar guns... Okay, but what was he actually doing? ...of 130 miles per hour. This made it extra dangerous for police, as they couldn't risk bumping him at such high speeds. That said, they had no problem hitting him whenever he slowed down. You shouldn't hit a bike regardless. Whether you're a cop or not. I get you have to stop them and all, but doesn't mean you have to crash into them. It's a bit over the top. Lurk, thank you for the lurk, Sunny. Up with Is he telling them he's gonna stop or what? Dude! The cops have no chill. They're gonna bump him again, aren't they? Or did they bump him? Nope. Is he gonna? I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't stopped yet. Oh my god. North and north. Now he's just on the footpath. It's like, you can't go here, only I can. Just pull over and take the ticket. It would be that easy, wouldn't it? Just to pull over and take the ticket. But most people don't do things the easy way. You can see clearly where the posted speed limit is 25 on these roads. That didn't stop our suspect from going over twice the legal limit. Now we can't tell if he's veering off road because he's trying to lose the police or if he's having trouble maintaining control of his bike. It's probably suffered some damage by now as it's been hit multiple times by the front end of Trooper Rome's cruiser. If they're lucky, our biker friend might crash near the police department. According <laughs> to our officers, he's heading right for it. No traffic, no pedestrians. Okay. Regardless if you don't know the area, why would you go in the direction of the police station? That's just not very smart. <laughs> A few moments later. Can't even see him anymore. So like, is he gone, or is this where he crashes? Up oh, there he is. Yeah, he's screwed now. 
<laughs> he should have tried. I just have to have subtitles on for these. Can't hear over the sirens. Two men to lift him up. Yay! You get to go to prison. Good job. <laughs> that cop is not happy. He's we like, yay! You get to go to prison. What he was officially charged with. Based on the footage, we believe he ran because he had some marijuana on him. Officers continue to criticize him by the hood, claiming he would have just gotten a misdemeanor charge for the weed. Now he's looking at multiple felonies. Most of this likely went over the suspect's head. One of the officers realized he didn't speak English, at which point they read him his Miranda rights in Spanish. Hmm. In France, law enforcement is centralized at the national level. Police belong to one of two national agencies, Police Nationale and Gendarmerie Nationale. The former has jurisdiction over cities and large okay. towns, <laughs> while the latter looks after small towns, rural villages, and border areas. In case you didn't know, French biker cops don't mess around. We believe this cop belonged to Police Nationale as he's chasing a suspect down what looks like a major highway. Watch how he screams down a narrow shoulder while in hot pursuit of a T-Max bike. Yeah, he's just after him. How is a biker cop gonna catch a biker though? Never seen it done. Does this chase go on for? Whoa, did he knock him off? Jesus. Let's rewind to the exact moment when our suspect crashed. You can see our suspect in the bright green vest as he gets into the left lane. It's not the best disguise to wear when committing crimes in France, but we're guessing he didn't plan on running that day. He veers right and nearly crashes into our officer even though the left lane was wide open ahead of him. Yeah. We don't think he contacted the officer's motorcycle. Instead, he clipped the back of that silver car and lost control. Our oh, officer geez. cuffs the suspect, but then notices that his bike has fallen over in the middle of the road. Thankfully, it didn't look like anything broke. How embarrassed would he be if, after all of that, he broke the bike because he forgot to lower the kickstand? <laughs> Sonny, why are you laughing? Oh my god, dude. Running from the police is always a bad idea. Your chances of escaping are way lower than getting caught or getting in an accident, but they're not zero. On June 17th of 2023, Arkansas State Trooper Trevoris Tatum was patrolling an area about 10 miles southwest of Little Rock. He couldn't believe his eyes when a young black male on a blue dirt bike popped a wheelie right in front of him. Trooper Tatum <laughs> flipped his lights on and made a sharp U-turn to pull the daredevil over. For a moment, it looked like the kid was going to stop. Instead, he hit the throttle and sped away. His dirt bike has the advantage on these side streets. He can zip between cars and make tight turns through as many parking lots as he wants. He oh, eventually loses Trooper Tatum, but he doesn't remain free for long. Moments later, Trooper William Cash spots someone matching the biker's description in a parking lot. The chase was back on. 
From one cop to another. Traffic's medium, speeds 50. Passenger air. Adam. What's he going to do? Open road, easy to pit him. Stop. He's not going to stop. And off he goes. Three cop cars chasing him. Little Rock is going the wrong way on the surface road. Back. Wrong way on the surface road. He's going to come to right side. Stay right close. Yeah, if you're going to do that, don't go the wrong way on the surface road. Wait, did they lose him? Why are we watching this cost perspective then? The strategy worked. Police ultimately lost sight of the bike and called off the chase. It's unclear if the biker was ever caught or if police got a better description of him. Running from the cops is always a bad idea. This kid got lucky this time. If he tries it again, the odds won't be in his favor. Clearly. In Thailand, policing falls under the authority of the Royal Thai Police. The National Police Force is often recognized as a fourth branch of the Thai Armed Forces as it undergoes similar training procedures. In June of 2021, a few Royal Police officers were tasked with taking down a local street gang full of teenagers on motorcycles. A few bike cops intercepted the gang as they crossed paths at an intersection. They couldn't get everybody, but maybe they could stop a few of them at least. Damn, we're all the way in Thailand. Oh, 
It's unclear how many bikers the police arrested that day as the footage cuts before anyone else gets pulled over. That's when we see another royal officer signaled in on one of the younger bikers. He pulls out his baton and threatens the kid to stop. <laughs> Let me talk. Tire dash cams were bad. This is worse. <laughs> the kid's face. And he's still going. Oh my god. Unfortunately, the clip ends before any arrest is made. It looks like the teenager ultimately stopped after his death-defying chase. From what we can gather, he was crying in the end and didn't want to get arrested. Gee, we wonder why. <laughs> I think everyone does. April 14th of 2023, State Trooper Tyler Langley is patrolling an area near Route 64 in Conway, Arkansas. He's looking for a suspect on a high-performance sports bike and finally spots him trying to get back on the highway. The suspect sees Trooper Langley and immediately spins around. He nearly leaves police in the dust as he hops on I-40 East. Nearly, so he doesn't get away fully. and weave all the traffic. Come on, Karen, move out of the way. Our biker has the advantage as long as traffic holds up. He effortlessly weaves between cars while Trooper Langley waits for them to move. Might as well. That's all he can do. Lol. <laughs> At this point, we're not sure if Trooper Langley can even see the suspect. He could have easily gotten off three or four exits ago. Toward the end of the chase, Trooper Langley radios in and says the suspect is still fleeing down I-40 East. Traffic prevented him from catching up, and he ultimately abandoned the chase. It's unclear if the police ever caught the fleeing biker. Running from the police is extremely dangerous. Running at night makes everything worse. Running from the police at night while you're on the back of a high-speed motorcycle is among the most dangerous things you can do. But that wasn't about to stop this suspect in Georgia, who thought he could outrun the GSP long enough to flee into Tennessee. Unfortunately for him, troopers Hobbs, Weaver, and Shackelford were determined to stop him before he crossed the border. Trooper 
Trooper Shackelford becomes the lead car after Trooper Weaver loses power. He eventually pulls alongside the biker and tries pushing him onto the shoulder. Ideally, the move gets the biker to slow down, at which point other officers can arrive and box him in. The move doesn't work, but Shackelford notices something crucial about the rider. He's having trouble controlling the bike at high speeds. If Shackelford can position himself just right, he can probably get this guy to panic and crash. Oh my god, the cops lights, holy shit. Trying the box bit again. So we'll stay in Corporal Hobbs's vehicle until the end of the pursuit. He sees the same thing Shackelford did. The biker may seem like he's holding it together, but he'll eventually make a mistake. Patience pays off when Hobbs gets up on his left side while both vehicles try making a sharp turn. That's a 1050. <laughs> Police got the cuffs on and eventually got their suspect under control. That's when he began complaining about back pain and medical help arrived to check him out. When you run from the police on your motorcycle, don't be upset when you crash and hurt yourself. This man <laughs> learned that lesson the hard way. He'll have plenty of time to think about it in jail. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in so, next time. It's always time. this one. <laughs>